Hello, what is up everybody? In today's video, I have a lot of NBA 2K22 news for the current gen and also for the next gen. I'm going to show you the current gen stuff first because obviously that's a lot of people going to be playing that more likely the next gen. we also got our next gen blog. These guys talking about all the new stuff in 2K and then we've got a little bit of a trailer from China showing us a little bit of snippet of gameplay and I've got some pre-order stuff to show you. i got what the current gen park looks like and does so let's have a little look let's get straight into it so make sure to leave that like hit that subscribe button if you're new hit that subscribe button please follow almost social link in the description in the top comment let's go straight into it so the first one we have right here is for the current gen news you will get to see different islands in the distance as days go by they get closer once the cruise ship arrives you get the chance to jump off the ship to the island and bowl there and experience new environments the cruise ship will cruise to different locations when events take place on current gen so right there is a lot of news so what that is is it's a cruise ship so it actually was a cruise ship that's going to move it wasn't like a lot of people that speculated it's going to be a sitting cruise ship you're probably going to be on the water see you're going to go through all the depths of the ocean all around the world basically you're going to see like different islands stuff like that in the background there's nothing big but it's still better than nothing you know what i mean i like that because it actually gives a little bit of people incentive to play current gen if you want to have a bit of a scenery but we don't know about the gameplay or anything like that but what do you think about the cruise ship different going to different locations so i'm thinking like the cruise ship can go to court conqueror one day go to like gold rush and go to like different events so the cruise ship goes to different events on that day different so you've got summer winter spring autumn whatever you have them sort of all the seasons all the events it's going to go to different events different seasons different islands it's going to mix it up a lot so i'm thinking about every couple of weeks probably every two to three weeks they're going to change the location in my opinion for the current gen version so what do you think about that for the current gen users tell me in the comments section down below now we've got some other news from badge plug shout out to him it says so unless i can't read right cages is 100 percent back in 2k22 current gen you heard it there cages is back in nba 2k22 for the current gen version i'm so glad it's not in the next gen version because cages gives you no rep and let's be honest it's useless who actually plays unless you just want to stuff around with your friends a little bit you know just want to mix it up a little bit don't play rep record or anything you want to play like a 3v3 against your friends don't want to people care about their record don't want to wreck their record or anything like that it's a bit of disappointing news in my opinion but no one's really going to play it anyway it's just a waste of space they could have used that space for something else who knows next we've got the pre-order stuff so this is what you get in the pre-order so you get gatorade you get skill boosts obviously skill boosts are a big thing in the game you get four t-shirts a backpack a skateboard and a shooting sleeve you get vc you get mt you get my team tokens you get my team packs you get a kareem a dirk and a kevin durant sapphire card on my team then you get six shoes, so I'm thinking you get a diamond shoe, and then you get a coach as well. And then, obviously, here's the look at the My Team card, if you like My Team. So, that's the My Team card right there. I like the little bit of design they got going on right there for the My Team. And now, for the next-gen news. Let's listen to this blog from this guy real quick, and I'll get back to you after the blog. All right, the bread and butter, as we all know, of any NBA 2K experience is the gameplay. It's the basketball it's why you buy the game. NBA 2K22 takes huge steps to making that experience better than ever. Uh, with a very um, sharp focus on offense and defense and making those components more skill-based and less random animation-based, we've made NBA 2K22 both the most accessible and the most enjoyable NBA 2K experience to date. Users are gonna have complete control over layups and dunks and and those mechanics, in previous years, you would kind of run towards the basket, you'd press you know, the shoot button and something would happen. Um, this year, you have control over the outcome, the animation, and that's something that, while it may sound like there is complexity added to it, I, it's really not. It puts the control in your hands, you feel good when you make it, you understand when you miss, uh, and we think our fans are gonna love it, and we know they are, because they probably the mode that most of you play, that you know most everyone plays, is our My Career mode. It is our narrative-driven experience that allows you to you know, effectively go from rags to riches, to go from high school to the NBA. In NBA 2K22, it is back, and it is bigger than ever in many different ways. On the next-gen consoles, My Career is completely integrated with the city. And what does that mean? Um, I would say in previous years, my career was kind of akin to a movie. 
You would start it, you would get a five minute sequence and you would just go play games and you'd eventually get more sequences. This year, like I said, it's completely integrated. You are going to have an intro and the, right away your player is running around the city. He's talking to agents, he's talking to his best friend, coaches. It's very RPG-like. You are experiencing this rise to fame in the city that you live in. Uh, it's a really cool feeling and it's a really big evolution for sports video games. Our current gen consoles, because again, we're really making two games this year. We're making a brand new next gen experience for our next gen consoles and those users. And we're doing the same thing for current gen. Current gen also has a fully rich narrative um, that people will enjoy in a more traditional um, theme. You're on the boat, which we talked about earlier, and you're getting the full My Career experience in a way that you've been experiencing for many years. So no matter which version of the game you purchase, you're getting a brand new experience that we know you're going to. So first up, we've got a lot of news just impacted in one video. So we're going to go with the first third of the video. It's talking about animations, how you can control the dunking animations, shooting animations, every animation in the game, you can control it better than, you've seen on next gen and current gen, you can't control anything. It's just the same little bit of moves. If you, like, it's just different. I like that. So far with the different, you can control the animation, different animations. It looks like they revamped the animation system, which I think is a big thing. Second part of the video was about my career. So you don't have to go through that long ass intro anymore. It's gonna straight, little clip and go straight into the city. I like that. You just make your player go straight to the city. You can do everything from the city, from my career and park at one time. You don't have to waste your time playing that little stupid draft mode at the start of the game or anything like that. You just go straight into the NBA, straight into the city, get straight into the game on the park, play with your friends, whatever have you. I like that. The NPC thing, hey, it's already in next gen. I liked it. it wasn't anything different. Like, who cares? You know, it's just a new experience for my career players. I love my career, in my opinion. Used to be, that's the reason I played 2K at the start. So obviously, my career is a big, it's the start, it was the start of Park. Don't get that twisted. It was the It was the only reason that Park even is even here. So I like that they're fixing that up. And then they talked about the cruise ship for current gen, and they talked about building a whole brand new game for next gen. So hopefully they're true to their word. It is a brand new spanking game that's built from the ground up. Obviously, they can have some of the similarities to the city, but make it more better. Like, make it better. Don't make it so large. You have to go through, like, 10 minutes from one side to the other with a skateboard. And it's all filled with just junk. We want to go just to have stores, park. That's it. No one wants anything else. No one wants to go around and do all this other stuff. Obviously, they have a little bit of NPCs in the middle there. You have your little warehouse if you want to do the warehouse games to get rid of extra rep. And then current gen, you got the cruise ship. As I talked about earlier, goes to different locations. Now we've got the little bit of a trailer. Let's have a little bit of a watch. So we have Rui Hachimura up first. And obviously it's in Chinese, so or Japanese. I can't remember what it is. I think it's Japanese. And that's a bit of game. I think they're gonna show a bit of gameplay if I'm not mistaken. Some people were saying this. So we'll have to have a look. But Rui Hachimura is the cover athlete for the Japan and the Chinese versions of the game. But that is a bit of gameplay snippet right there from Rui. Not really much to go off, to be honest, but it's still better than nothing. I'm going to actually stop on a clip and have a look at Rui. Now, Rui looks really good. Is it, all they did really, if I'm going to be honest with you, if I didn't show it on the screen, all they did was just show him with more sweat. <laughs> we know this. That is put more sweat on the game. Ronnie even made a, a TikTok, right, of saying that. 2K should bring out more news. Oh, wait, it's just... The 2k players or more added sweat even he knows it's a joke at this point but what do you guys think about all that news in 2k22 i'm going to leave you with a little picture of my favorite player in the nba russell goatbrook this is my favorite player i'm happy that he's in the lakers him and camelo anthony i'm already chopping their jersey straight away but anyway guys leave you this picture of russell westbrook or russell goatbrook you know if people call him west goat it's russell goatbrook west goat sucks not a name goatbrook is the name man but anyway, guys, make sure to leave that like, hit that subscribe button, made this far in the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, man. What are you doing? Make sure to like that video. Follow all my socials. I'll catch you guys in another video. Sorry for the lack of videos. Obviously, when 2K22 finally arrives, I'll be doing next-gen and current-gen videos. But anyway, guys, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.